Okay, here we have our good old friend, standard distribution curve, the bell curve. And there's this concept of standard deviations, meaning that here's the bell curve, and most people fall within one standard deviation of the mean, which is this average, this vertical line that I drew here. So we'll draw our little lines up like that. That's one standard deviation. Now, you'll notice that, yep, the pump is right there. A lot in terms of area, most of whatever you're measuring falls within this shaded area. Now, the GRE actually wants you to have a rough sense of how much percentage-wise. So let's work. Let's do that right now. 34% fall here, 34% fall here. That is 68% fall within one standard deviation of the mean. Now, how many fall within two standard deviations? Well, the number, the percentage that fall between one and two is roughly 13%. And going in this direction below the mean is also 13%. That will always be the symmetry about the mean. Now you can see that in both cases you have 47% fall within two standard deviations on both sides, meaning that about 94, it's actually 95 once you round up a little bit here with the 13, but 95% of everyone, wherever you're measuring, fall within two standard deviations. So when you are two standard deviations, in this case above, you're dealing with a very minute percentage here. Very, very few people, sort of a 2%. Thing. So when we take this question here, this question says a random variable y is normally distributed with a mean of 200. So here's our mean of 200 and a standard deviation of 10. You can see that here 210 corresponds to one standard deviation above, 222 standard deviations above. So in quantity A, when they say, oh, the probability of an event, the, the value of Y is greater than 220%, you can see that, wow, that's, that's a tiny probability. That's just a fraction. I mean, it's 1 over 50. Whereas column B, right over here, is 1 sixth, which is roughly 16%. You can see that's much, much bigger than this 2% or 150. So answer choice B.